kutokana na ongezeko la visa vya mauaji pamoja na vile vya kujitoa uhai. Mtaalamu wa afya ya kiakili kutoka shirika la msalaba mwekundu Kathleen Mwende amedokeza baadhi ya sababu ambazo zimechangia ongezeko la mauaji ya kiolela nchini. I would say that there's been a lot of heaviness and there's been a lot of talk about murder in the air because we keep sensationalizing the news. So people who are angry, people who are frustrated, people who are depressed, people who are going through a lot of mental challenges are likely to have murder as an option when they encountered with a problem. Kukosekana kwa utu miongoni mwa wanajamii pia inakisiwa kuchangia ongezeko la mauaji. Kathleen akiongeza kuwa, mazungumzo yanayofungamana na mauaji pia yamechochea ongezeko hili. The conversations that we are having about femicide are conversations that are holding space for abusers and for potential murderers. Somebody is listening and they are saying, aha, okay, so mimi if I, if I have issues with my wife, and she disrespects me, it's okay to kill her if she has disrespected me. That is what is entering into people's minds and that is what is registering. Kathleen pia amebaini baadhi ya ishara ambazo mmoja anapaswa kuangalia kabla ya kitendo cha mauaji kutendeka. Hiwapo mmoja ameanza kutumia dawa za kulevya kwa kiwango cha juu na kujitenga na marafiki wake hii ikiashiria kuwa anasongwa na mawazo na uwezekano upo wa kutenda jambo la kikatili. If you're in an abusive relationship, it's likely that you're already being harmed. So, a slap today, a punch tomorrow, after a few days, can end up into murder. Um, an increase in drug and uh, substance abuse, more than usual, more than they usually use. Jia moje ya kuzuia visa hivi vya mawaji kutokea mara kwa mara, ni kama jamii kutowapa na fasi watu walio nania ya kutenda unyama. Serikali pia kuingilia kati na kuchukua hatua na kuwatia mbaroni wa usika wa mawaji haya. We need to stop giving um, abusers and potential murderers a community where they are able to feel like what they are doing is okay. I feel like that is one of the major problems. So in the space that you're in, in your workplace, in your friendship group, in your whatever social situation that you find yourself in i think a personal responsibility that you can have man or woman is to make sure that uh, that kind of conversation is being stifled um come uko mahali and you are hearing talk about women being abused or women being raped now is that time that is your time to speak that ni kukomesha visa hivi vya mauaji watu wanaokabiliwa na msongo wa mawazo wameshauriwa kutafuta suluhu kwa kuzungumza na wataalamu ama kujihusisha na mambo mazuri yatakayowasaidia. Let's be proactive towards taking care of our mental health. Um, you don't have to see a therapist. Not everybody is a talker. Not everybody likes talking about their issues. But you can go out there and um, take a walk. You can go for hikes, you can join the gym, you can get a creative hobby, something that fulfills you personally. Um, those are some of the things that you can do to take care of your mental health, to get out of your own head and just go out there. Mary Kialo, Undugu Afia.